Hi, I'm Zach, and I'd like to show you how easy it is to integrate Service Sidekick with QuickBooks. When you first sign up for a Service Sidekick account, you'll land here at the Setup tab, where we give you some simple setup steps to help you get started. The first one I've gone ahead and done, it's just your simple company information here. Um, the second step is to choose your integration mode. Here you can choose between either the desktop version or QuickBooks Online. Here we'll go ahead and choose the desktop version, we'll click update, and then we'll go into the uh, QuickBooks integration setup steps. But first, what we need to do is make sure we have QuickBooks open, which we do. We also need to make sure we're logged into the company file that you want to integrate with. So if you do have multiple companies, make sure you're logged into the right one. You'll also need to be logged in as the QuickBooks administrator, and you'll also need to put it in single user mode which you can do right there. So, now that we're set, we'll go ahead and run the QuickBooks integration steps, setup steps. First, we'll go ahead and download the QuickBooks Web Connector. This is a simple plugin which allows the communication to flow back and forth between QuickBooks and Service Sidekick. You can go ahead and uh, download that directly from this page that opens up. I've actually already downloaded this to save time uh, for the uh, purposes of this video here. Let me open that up. This is a very simple install wizard. You'll basically just click next, uh, approve the license, click next and install. Once this installs, uh, this plugin will be installed into your QuickBooks and it will enable the communication back and forth between Service Sidekick and QuickBooks. So this is finishing up here, and in a minute we should see that it is installed. We'll click Finish, and that is step one. Step two is to uh, download and install your QWC file. We can just click Open here. This is a simple configuration file that just configures the web connector that we've just downloaded and installed in the first step. So here we're going to go ahead and uh, click OK. This is to approve um, Service Sidekick uh, to integrate with QuickBooks. And we have one more question we have to answer here, which is how do we want to allow this application to read and modify the company file? I recommend you choose the third option down, which is whenever this QuickBooks company file is open. We'll click Continue. We'll click Done. And now what we should see is a new window pop-up, which is the web connector with the Service Sidekick listing. The final step is to just enter our password in here. Um, let's go ahead and find that password. It is located on the same page as the other steps at the very bottom, right here. So, uh, 68D80. Once you enter your password in, you'll click the Enter key. That'll prompt you to save the password. Go ahead and click that. And that's it. The web connector is now configured. The only thing you have left to do is check the box to the left of the listing and then click this Update Selected button. Assuming we've typed in the right password, you should see a green status bar starting to march across the screen. Depending on how big your QuickBooks company file is in terms of the number of customers and your uh, number of invoices and other pieces of, uh, of, of data that's company specific, this could take a very long time the first time it runs. Do not uh, be surprised if this looks like it stalls out and do not uh, quit this um, application here if you think it's stalled out. Um, you can keep using your computer, this will keep running in the background and uh, more often than not we're just still synchronizing information back and forth. The first time again could take hours to complete or it could just take a few minutes. It really just depends on a number of factors. So we can go ahead and, and switch back over here to Service Sidekick while this is running. Go ahead and click the refresh link here. And you'll see that a number of these next setup steps have automatically been completed for us. Um, because we do bring over your item list and your tax list automatically from QuickBooks. Um, in fact, we can go ahead and uh, see that item list by going into the settings tab and we can click on our item list here. You'll see all the different 
items that we have in QuickBooks and how those have come over. We can also go into the Customers tab and see that we're starting to bring over your customers. So for example, if we click into Adam's Candy Shop, you can see that all of this information has come over from QuickBooks. So our Adam's Candy Shop was in QuickBooks looking like this. You can see that we have the exact same information imported into Service Sidekick. And that's it. Uh, this sync will run. It will uh, actually complete. And once it's completed, you'll see that we have also brought over your historic information as well. For example, these invoices that were in uh, the QuickBooks customer record. We can now go in and we can see that we've brought over this invoice automatically to Service Sidekick. And that's it. It's that simple to set up the QuickBooks integration. Um, once you have run the integration and close that window, if you ever want to get back to the web connector, you can always go into QuickBooks and click on File. And there'll be a new link here to update web services. And that opens up that window again.